We have a contemporary kitchen renovation to show you now. It was designed by Shai DeLuca Tomasi. Take a look. We have just finished a big renovation project for my clients, Rokina and Nick. Guys, what do you think? Uh, it's amazing. Very modern and contemporary. Just exactly what we wanted. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part is the island. Yeah. It's big. It's great for entertaining because we love to entertain. Now, this was a huge piece. So this is a 1970s home. And in the 1970s, partitions were a big thing. So we had two walls erected that really closed off the kitchen to the rest of the home. We took those down. Nick? Yeah, it was... Definitely very closed off and we do a lot of entertaining so this opens it up. Now we could have people in the kitchen, in the living room, dining room area. Yeah. And uh, okay Shai, you were right. Yeah. S say it again. You were right. Thank I'll you. give you this one. <laughs> uh, the uppers and lowers are different colors. I yeah. was a little hesitant at first but uh, now I see it all ties in together with the floors and everything. So yes. And I mean let's take notice again like you said the large uh, island with these great Tom Dixon pendants above. This is a great tip. So most people might be inclined to do one fixture over an island. We opted to do three different ones at varying heights and it adds a little bit more depth and dimension to the space. And speaking of the island we uh, cladded it in this beautiful zebra wood which was really inspiration for the dining table. So Nick, talk to me about the dining table. It's a uh, reclaimed wood from the city of Toronto and uh, we got to be involved in every single step of the yep. table making process so it's pretty cool. It's, it's beautiful. I really like the way that we paired it with these mid-century Herman Miller chairs. And finally, guys, I love this wall. It's 3D paneling. It looks like wallpaper, but we've carried the lines in the wall into the light fixture above the table. It really finishes off the space nicely. It's definitely the first thing that people notice when they walk in our house. Yeah. I mean, true definition of a feature wall. So let's, Shai is joining us now live in studio. Give him a big round of applause. Shai, you did a great job. Thanks for, thanks for doing that. I want to talk a little bit about how you found Nick. How Nick found me. How Nick found <laughs> how you, Nick found let's put it that way. So, so Nick is a firefighter and they at the Brampton Fire Department love watching City Line and they never miss an episode. And I was love on one of the it. episodes and that day I got an email and he asked, you know, I, we need help with our home. We just moved in. This was before they got married. Would you come and help? And I was like, of course. I'm First of all, it was from a firefighter. So I'm like, yes, of course I'm going to come and help you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that it would be very talking. cool to get a picture of all of the firefighters, Nick, at your station, right. watching City Line, owning it. I yes. love the fact that you guys watch City Line and you, and you love it. What do you like about it, Nick? Oh, we watch it every day at the fire hall. It's, uh, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Actually, the guys uh, want a picture with you, Tracy, so... Uh, oh, <laughs> bring it on! <laughs> you should have brought them with you, is all I'm saying. Yes, Next time, yes. bring all of them with you. Just pull the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and say specifically if you want Nick. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Thank you so much for coming down. We have noticed, and we notice all the time, there are way more men watching the show. There are yes. way more men in the audience, and yes. I love it. Men are, uh, a lot of men are, I think, maybe being a, a little bit more open about their love for decor, because mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot of that. We're seeing a lot of fashion as well. Oh, absolutely. And uh, with food, it's always been a big love with a lot of uh, the men that watch City Line, mm -hmm. but I think it's great. So, and you did a great job on their place. Well, thank you. They were beautiful. great to work with. They were fantastic. A lot of fun. Yeah. Well, after the break, we're going to be talking a little bit about odd shaped homes and what to do mm -hmm. about that. Are there any tricks that you have if you've got an odd shaped room, mm -hmm. Shy, that yeah, you so want to talk about? So in the next segment, we're definitely going to talk about long, narrow spaces. But, yeah. you know, I always say play to the strength of the space or play to the fact that whatever the architectural detail is, play to it. Don't try to veer away from it because oftentimes what happens is it looks like you're trying to veer away from it. So, yeah. you know, if you have a column, for example, I do a lot of downtown condos and these new lofts have all these columns erected in the center. Yeah. Play to it. Use it for something. The architectural detail is there, so play to it, um, you know, rather than trying to hide it. Condos are particularly hard because they have like these sweeping shapes and then the rooms are pie shaped yeah. and curved <laughs> <Yes>. and it's <laughs> challenging. Yeah, it's it's challenging. really challenging. That's good though, embrace it, right? Yeah.